A clear semicircular dish filled with glycerin is used to measure the index of refraction of glycerin. A laser beam strikes the dish at the center of the semicircle with a 60 degree angle to the flat side of the dish. A. Draw the light ray as it enters and then leaves the glycerin. First, I drew the normal line. Now, the problem did not specify, but we can assume that the dish is surrounded by air. When the light goes from air into glycerin, it slows down, so the angle should get smaller. And remember, these angles are measured between the ray and the normal line. So the ray bends uh, this way for a smaller angle of refraction. So this is the ray in glycerin. Then it has to leave the glycerin and enter the air. Again, I drew the normal line. Because this is a semicircle, and the ray comes from the center of the circle, this is the radius of the semicircle. Since the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent line, this is the normal line. This is what we call normal incidence. When we have normal incidence, light ray travels straight through. Because for this refraction, the angle of the incidence is zero. And n1 sine theta 1 equals to n2 sine theta 2. And the theta 1 is 0. And sine 0 degrees is 0. That means uh, n2 sine theta 2 also has to be 0. n2 cannot be 0. That means sine theta 2 has to be 0. This means uh, theta 2 also has to be 0. So when we have normal incidence, the refracted ray would go straight through. For part B, if this angle is 20 degrees, find the index of refraction of glycerin. This is 20 degrees, so this is also 20 degrees. So we can use this refraction to find the n. So we have n1 sine theta 1 equals to n2 sine theta 2. n1 is uh, air, so n, so it's 1. Sine theta 1 is not 60 degrees, but 30 degrees. It's 90 degrees minus 60 degrees, because uh, we want the angle between the ray and the normal line. So it's this angle right here, not that one. So we will need the 30 degrees. And then we don't know the n2, that's what we're looking for. But we know the angle here is 20 degrees. So we'll get n2 is 1.46, and that's the index of refraction for glycerin. The index of refraction does not have any unit, because n is defined as c divided by v. It's a speed divided by the speed, so there's no unit for n.